When you have a bunch of photos to be presented to your audience, how challenging is it to insert one or two pictures at a time, resizing and aligning them and adding captions? Well, there is a better way to do that. Hey, hello and welcome to another session with your designer by design. Photo albums are created for all events. It could be pictures from your trip, or showing a photo collection from your class if you are a teacher or the team outing from your work or even a wedding album. No matter how many photos you have, PowerPoint offers a quick and easy way to create a photo album. To start with, go up to the insert menu, select photo album drop down and select new photo album. This opens up a box. Here, click the file or disk button to choose your photos. From the insert new picture dialog box, browse and select all the pictures needed for the album and finally click the insert button. If you see here, all the selected pictures are listed and numbered in an order. You have options to choose one or more photos and have them reordered. The next step is to select a picture layout. The default is fit to slide that shows one picture per slide expanded to the nearest border of the slide. Let's see how the album looks just with the default options and come back and check other options. Wow, check out how PowerPoint created a title slide followed by all the photos. Look how beautifully it has automatically resized the photos and presented us with one picture per slide. All right, let's check other options. To do that, go up to the insert menu, select photo album and click edit photo album this time. Here is an option to display pictures in black and white. Check the box and click update to see the changes. Doesn't it feel like you are in an art exhibition? All right, let's check other options. When you have too many pictures, try changing the picture layout to choose two or up to four pictures in a slide. He also provides options to display titles on each slide if you want. Up next is a selection of frame shape. You can choose from a variety of options like a rounded rectangle or soft edge, simple or compound frame in both black or white color. Apart from this, PowerPoint also provides you with predefined album design themes. Once selected, click on the update button to see the changes. Wow, this is even better as an album, right? How long do you think it would take if you have to do this manually by inserting one picture at a time? Wait, PowerPoint doesn't stop here. He allows you to make changes to the color themes as well. And if you want the pictures titled, simply check the box that says caption below all pictures. You might ask, I don't just want to add titles and wanted to add a description for a picture. Well, he provides that option as well. Let's say if I want to add description to the picture Lone Tree Sunrise, I would select one picture above and click New Text Box. Now, PowerPoint provides a text box and enough space for you to add the description. Here you can edit the text box and add your description. Let me add a sample text. Well, here is another tip for you. To add a random sample text, type equal to L-O-R-E-M and the function. This automatically fills with dummy text. If you don't know what lorem ipsum is, it's simply a dummy text in the printing and typesetting industry. Once you have created the photo album, you can just treat that as any regular slide and make any changes to it. For example, I'm going to add slide numbers. The slide numbers are placed according to the selected theme. 
Another feature that it provides is to adjust the photo's color and brightness. You may select one or more pictures and have the color and brightness adjusted. It also allows you to rotate the images. Again, it doesn't mean you have to do it here. You could do that even in the slide, but here it provides the option to bulk select the photos and do all at one shot. Now that you know how to create a photo album, let's see how we can export them. For easy distribution, you may want to save as PDF. Adobe Reader also provides options to view them in full screen, just like your slideshow. The other export option is to save as video. This would be useful, especially if you prefer to upload it to YouTube or to other social media. The progress bar here shows the video conversion process. If you wish, you may even add transition effects and timing to each slide using the animation tab. PowerPoint creates the video with auto forwarding each slide at regular intervals. Next time, create your own photo album for your family and friends. I hope you found this video useful. If yes, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel Designer by Design. See you in another video. Bye now.